I will sit still. Oh, wait, I see what they did here. Dude, this is kind of genius, actually. What's up, boys? You know, on this channel, over the years, we've made countless videos about these stupid children doing silly things. You know, they're lighthearted, funny videos. But today, I am going to do something that nobody ever thought I would ever do. I'm actually going to be reacting to videos and images of smart children, because believe it or not, okay, there's like 10% of the time where they're actually geniuses. Some of these children might even be smarter than than you, which I don't know, you know, depending on how dumb or smart you are, could be a giant insult. Anyway, for this video, let me know if you were a smart kid or a dumb kid. I always like reading through them as always. And without further ado, enjoy the video, boys. Ma'am, did you just move here? Yeah. There's no, a lot of kids playing around here. Okay. Have a Holy, dude, that might actually be the most insane recovery of all time. Oh, whoa, hold on, lady, all right? There's a lot of kids playing around here. Be careful, all right? You might want to watch your door before you get ding-dong dead. You wouldn't want that to happen, now, would you? Name, Asher, serving the country. If I served our country, I would want to be a nothing because I don't want to die. <laughs> and then the picture is just them sitting on a chair in front of the TV. That's real as hell, dude. I, I, I'm not going to the army, man. You think I'm stupid enough to just go die for my country? Listen, man, country's cool, but, you know, like, there's plenty of people out there who are willingly going out to war to do those things. So me, I'm good. <laughs> That is actually insane, dude. I like how he's just going so insane that, like, literally the whole rest of the band just stops playing. Look at his face, man. This kid is probably gonna be, when he's, like, my age, like, Metro Boomin' level production. Or beyond, honestly. Like, being a child prodigy is just a real thing. There are just some kids that just pop out and instantly are, like, insane at something with, like, no practice. So apparently this kid wanted a beard for his costume, but he couldn't afford it. So what he did was he just cut off some of his own hair and then glued it onto his face. And it warranted him um, three times more candy than almost any other kid. Having been told that it's rude to call dinner gross, our four-year-old is finding increasingly creative ways to express himself. This tastes unlucky to me. This sends my mouth into outer space. That's bad. Cauliflower is, pinch his fingers together, this much delicious. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. The only thing I would have to say about this is I feel like sending your mouth into outer space would be a good thing. It's like an anime when they like take a bite of food and they're just like, mm, this is so good. Um, that's what that would remind me of. Our five-year-old seems to have deemed himself the local virus warden over the fence to our neighbor. Gene, you need to go inside. Okay, I will in a minute. You're old and there's a virus. I'm not that old, thank you. How old are you, Gene? I'm 68. That is nearly 70, Gene. <laughs> this guy is giving Gene a, 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 like a, an end-of-life crisis right here. He's got a point, though. I mean, what do you mean you're not that old? 68? I think the average lifespan is like 80, okay? You're like 80% done with life. That's, that's pretty old, actually. <laughs> that's about there. You can't be mad at this kid for calling you old if all he's trying to do is look out for you. I mean, apparently there's a virus on the loose. He knows that you're weak and old and frail and will crumple to it, so he's warning you to go back inside before it gets you. Okay, so in class she asks you, what comes after a sentence, right? Yeah. A punctuation comes after a sentence, like a period. Yeah. So when she asks you, what comes after a sentence, what did you say? An appeal. <gasps> Bro. <laughs> Why did you say that? Because I heard it on Daddy's Zoom. 
<laughs> well, I think I know where this kid's gonna end up in like 25 years. He honestly might not even have to go to uh, like law school or anything. If he just pays enough attention to what his dad is doing over these, you know, next couple decades, he'll probably already be at like lawyer status by the time he's old enough. I told my nephew a watermelon was gonna grow in his stomach because he ate some of the seeds and I kid you not, he looked me straight in the eyes and said, nope, because there's no sunlight, so you're wrong and college has failed you. He's seven. I don't know. I don't know. I, I this one, this one is like giving. It's giving me a little bit of uh, fake impression farming vibes. Like I believe the the sunlight part, but college has failed you. I don't get a vibe that a kid would say that. You know what I think about you, Gracie? I think that lying school has failed you. Yeah, I said it. Sue me. I think it's a lie. Lost my temper with my daughter because she wouldn't get dressed and told her she did, couldn't come downstairs until she changed out of her pajamas. She's just changed into another pair of pajamas. Well, you know, that's just one of those times when you just gotta be a little bit more specific, okay? I mean, you just gotta be like, you need to change out of your pajamas into an actual pair of clothes. Open it. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Well, hey, you earned yourself a lollipop. So apparently this kid figured out how to do this before they even know how to talk. They just unlocked a child lock, which is literally the whole point of that lock is for this kid, toddlers, to not be able to get past it. You just like completely defeated the whole purpose of this one thing before you even knew how to say lollipop. You know, I am kind of a danger to those things. Anytime there's a box of moths gummies, like anywhere, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get them and I'll just like eat like five packs without even thinking about it. Yeah, I'm a fat ass. All right Sometimes I just start eating those things and you just keep eating them and then before you realize it You've had like six packs. It's like an actual crime home with a sick kid today watching up Suddenly the seven-year-old says mom wait. I've seen this scene before in another movie We pause and I take a picture of it pick below and within seconds He navigates to cars 2 and pauses the screen on this exact scene pick 2 below what? They're the same. How in the world did he notice this? Unbelievable. You know what's really unbelievable is the fact that he actually paid enough attention to Cars 2 to notice this. Because that movie, that movie was terrible. You go from awesome Cars 1 with Lightning McQueen being a badass and winning the, you know, whatever the cup thing was. And then boom, Cars 2, Vader is suddenly a spy. Like, what? They were sitting at that round table in the office board meeting room and were like, how can we take this movie franchise and really take it to the next level? I mean, props to this kid for noticing that though i'm not really sure if this is supposed to be like some sort of easter egg or if they just got lazy when they were animating this and used the same scenes so they didn't have to remake a whole other background either way though very impressive honestly i'm gonna give this kid some prop just learned our nine-year-old didn't experiment on us lost tooth told no one for three days kept tooth under his pillow no money then he tells us he lost the tooth next night there is money under his pillow then confronted us with this scientific evidence that the Tooth Fairy isn't real. You know what the crazy thing about me is? I learned that uh, the Tooth Fairy and also the Easter Bunny weren't real, like, really, really early on in life on accident. I don't remember if I've told this story in a video before, but the way I found out, actually, that Santa wasn't real is I was looking up on my mom's iPad how many presents does Santa deliver a year. Uh, or in a night or whatever because I was like this guy's got to be delivering so many presents and it turns out The first thing that it showed me <laughs> was that Santa was actually a fictional being and he wasn't actually real So he doesn't deliver any presents. That was what the thing told me and dude when I tell you I was absolutely crushed. I don't know why I didn't just assume okay the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy aren't real So why the hell would Santa be real? No, I was still convinced that that guy was real. Uh, he is real guys. Don't worry. Santa is very real I'm not gonna lie, that actually for some reason kind of just blew my mind. I've watched this video like four times before I actually recorded it. I just like can't comprehend how he like, what, he just like picks it up and then flips it over. Like how does it just, it's just perfect. I just, my brain. This would be like such a sick way to put your coat on before you go out. Like maybe I should just start leaving my coat on, um, like on the floor. So that way whenever I'm about to leave with like my friends or something, I just like do that. Dude, I just probably look so awesome. My uncle was texting his three-year-old who uses speech to text. I'm almost home. What did you say? I can't read. 
<laughs> I'm like pretty positive. I've told this story before on this channel. I don't remember when though, but so I'll just say it again for the people that haven't heard it. When I was younger, my dad's friend at work offered me the choice between two different iPods to have for free. There was the one that was just the Nano that didn't have a screen. And then there was one with the screen where you could see all the songs, which was like very obviously nicer. But I still picked the Nano because I was like, well, I can't read. So a screen would be kind of you. <laughs> see that kid there in the pink glasses earlier in the game. Luis Rivera throws him a baseball. Now watch what he does. He catches that baseball and then turns to the group of young ladies behind him and said, hey, ladies, would you like a ball? But and they go, oh, aren't you so sweet? But then he says, I gave her the other ball. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is yeah. he's got the gamer in yeah. his glove. He's, he never took the gamer out of his glove. It's just, ladies, would you like a baseball? That is actually insane. And look at his dad. He definitely caught on to what the kid was doing. Because look at his face. I mean, this kid's going to be a problem when he grows up, dude. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I thought I would try something a little bit different. I mean, I've made so many videos about kids being stupid. But actually, they're not always stupid. A lot of the time, they're also pretty smart. So uh, let me know if you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like subscribe comment all that stuff follow me on twitter and instagram both of which are at dom so epic and i'll see you guys in the next one peace peace